Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. We took the train to the city. We started our day out eating at an American fast food place because we were already hungry. As if we are about to cross the road. A car. Ignoring the red light, I kept driving and almost hit Sakura. Oh, Jesus. I managed to catch her just in time. And she fell into my into arms. Roman? Sakura? Her eyes slowly shut. Her face closed in, in on mine. Her small mouth beckoned for something. It was her lips that seemed to be wanting for me. Be waiting for me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think she wants me to kiss her. I I don't know what happened within me. I was flooding with energy and happiness. I ran along the streets. I ran, I ran, I ran. As fast as I can. Overwhelmed with joy. I wanted to sing. I wanted to laugh. I wanted to dance. I felt completely crazy. I mean, I understand. Well, you, were, you are in love. You, you had your first, probably, kiss with... Someone you love. That is always a nice feeling. I was waiting for a Sakura at the train station of the village. I was getting used to these trips now, but I'm a bit tired today. I couldn't sleep at all last night. I was full of excitement thinking about our lovely date. Oh, that, well, it was just... Then a joyful Sakura appeared. She was listening to music on the CD player. Hmm. I mean, it, it is music, though. When she saw me, a big smile filled her face. She turned off at the CPT player and walked toward me. Roman, sorry for the wait. Good morning, Sakura. We embraced each other with a kiss. Darn, I missed these sweet lips so much. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. I had a feeling that she had put on a little more makeup on her face for the occasion. You look wonderful today, Sakura. I also want again to think, let, let's just think about the 3D models. Yeah, I don't, I have completely, was this, was this even, was there even a close up? I don't even know. Like I, again, I have completely forgotten. It was overflowing with happiness. I've never seen her so happy before. Oh, does, does that mean I'm not pretty yesterday? Ah, no, 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 I mean, you're as pretty as usual. I mean, you're always. Sakura gave me a mischievous grin and gave me a quick kiss on the lips. Silly, I'm just messing with you. God, that's so cruel. We laughed together as the train arrived in the station. We sat on the train going towards the Grand City. I was wondering about her CD player, so I decided to ask her. What were you listening to on your CD player? Oh, some classical music. You like classical music? I mean, she plays the violin. I love it. I'm not especially a fan of that kind of music, but I will admit that it's, it's good to listen to sometimes. It can be very relaxing. Depending on exactly, well, <clears throat> classical music. Some, some, some are, of course, good. Some are very traumatic and some are, some are, oh boy. You just wonder, are you suddenly in an anime that is, that is where at the end where the main character is at the edge of something and then just that she is nearly in the few seconds before. What's your favorite song? Tucker gave me one side of her headphones and started to see the player. I know this song. I mean, it's a. I mean, everybody knows probably this song, but I have no idea what its name is. But it's really nice. Oh, I know this song, but I don't remember its name. Oh, okay, Robert from this game, you're stopping me. It's the Air Orchestra Suit Number no. Three of Bach. I don't know why, but I love to listen to this when I'm in a good mood. You must be in a pretty good mood then, huh? 
She doesn't reply. She just leans her head on my shoulder and closes her eyes. I gently lean my head against her. Her presence, her warmth, her strangely feminine smell. But along with the music, I wish this train would never stop and that we could stay like this forever. I mean, yeah. Some things make me more make more sense now that you've told me your secret. What do you mean? Well, I finally understand why you like shooting games and are matching my guy. Hey, 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 bro, bro, bro. Well, normal girls like could also like this. I don't know any of them, but I know that there are some. Have some more boyish tastes in you, despite that the rest of you is pretty feminine. Yes, it's true. I think I got that from my father. For my last few birthdays, my father bought me shooting games and edgy manga. Oh, that, your, your father is very brave. <laughs> I guess it's just stuck with me. I see. How it was when you were younger. Was it difficult? My childhood was kind of chaotic, yes. I was a boy like the others, during my first years at the kindergarten. With the time passed, it was clear that I had more girlish tendencies, very strong ones in fact. When I was going through puberty, I clearly expressed my desire to be considered as a real girl. I couldn't help it, my mind was locked in more feminine habits. It looked like my own body was confused, I didn't know how to evolve. For example, my voice didn't deepen like a male. So I let my hair grow, pierced my ears, started to wear skirts, use bras and even put stuff inside my bra to simulate the real breasts. When I looked at myself in a mirror, dressed like a girl, I knew definitely that I was one. I wanted to be one, and I will be one. My mother accepted it well. She loves me more than anything, and I will, will have accept anything as long as it makes me happy. Again, good mother. But other people didn't want to understand. My father, my classmates, you get the picture. Well, to continue on, my first teenage years were horrible. You mean here, in the village? No. We were living in Kyoto before, but we moved out here. When we started our new life, I decided that I would fight to be considered as a girl in the new town. Only my parents and Rika knew the secret. And you, of course. And honor me on Monday. You know I. I wish I was a real girl. I always wanted to be a girl. I always wanted to have long hair. I always wanted to wear dresses. And I've always wanted to have a boyfriend. I listened to her in complete silence. Uh, as <clears throat> as she was remembering her childhood memories, I could see some tears were about to come out from her eyes. I put my hand on her shoulder and kissed her head. Sakura, I know your secret, but I promise you, to me you'll always be a girl, a real girl. I don't care about what other people think. I don't care about your body things. I don't even care if your father hates me someday because of us going out together. Sakura, you're a girl and I, and I, I, and our father would be so hard to say it even if you want to express it so much at the same time. I forced myself to let it all out. I, Sakura, I love, lo I love you Sakura. I ended up loudly shouting as out. Some people in the streets were surprised. They stopped to stare at us. I felt terrible, ter embarrassed. Even Sakura turned red with embarrassment. Suddenly I realized the deep sense of what I just said. Yes, yes, I love her. And I'm not afraid to say it. Yes, everyone, I love her. You hear me? I love her! Strangers just stared at us awkwardly. Sakura was still blushing, but suddenly she started to reply in the same tone as me. Stuttering and trembling a bit. But with the same conviction and as loud as me. Yes, 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 I'm a girl. I'm a girl and I love you, Roman. I love you too, Roman. 
He will continue to stare at us, but soon they carried on with their lives, ignoring us. Therefore, first one, okay, love, you just confessed to each other. Okay, could, could you keep it down a little bit? I rolled my eyes, I felt at the people. Why? I mean, kind of, but I mean, they, they, ha they still have to do the stuff, though. Mm. People. Sakura made a strange face. She was holding her mouth while blushing. She was laughing? He starts to laugh. Starts to laugh loudly. It was a nice laugh. The sound filled me with comfort. I was a little surprised, but her laugh made me want to laugh as well. <laughs> That's a funny Sakura. She tried to reply but couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> it's just uh, I'm relieved now that I said it. And the way you rolled your eyes, it was too funny. I couldn't hold it. I went, hey, that's just how I naturally react. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roman. I rolled my eyes again before realizing and she started to laugh even louder. I began to laugh as well. I was so happy. She stopped after a while, wiping away her tears of laughter. I've never felt happiness like this. Thanks to you, I feel that those sad memories have gone away now. Thank you so much, woman. Thank you. She embraced me tightly like a plushie, like a little girl to her father. With an adorable smile on her lips, I could feel her heart beating against my chest. We had a lot of fun today in the city. Holding hands, we were on our way back to the station. But suddenly, Sakura had stopped. I turned around to look at her, while still holding her hand. A break expression was blank. Then turned to embarrassment. She was beat to root red. Something wrong? She pointed toward a building near us. I looked to see and it was... <laughs> Love Hotel! <laughs> okay, it seems we take a little break here. So see you in a few minutes and hopefully nothing bad will come. But... <sighs> I am back. <laughs> I'm scared about what will happen now. I mean, we know this game has some sexual themes. <laughs> um, <laughs> when it happens, then um, I, I am hopefully prepared. Whoa, 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 wait, what? Does she want to? Do, do, do you want to go there? She nodded and looked down at the ground to hide her shyness. Her hand gripped me tighter. Sure, let's go. I woke up in the bed of the hotel. Okay, okay, it's not so. I think I dozed off for only 50 minutes or so. I was feeling pretty sleepy. And my arm Sakura was sleeping against me. She held me tight. I guess she must have been exhausted after so much fun in that room. She woke up still a little drowsy. Spoke with a weary voice. Roman? Huh? Was it your first time too? Uh, yeah? Yeah. Do you regret it? Me? No. Why should I? No, am I? I'm just... I still can't believe I finally found a boy who accepted me the way I am. Whatever you're thinking of how, how this actually... Did happen... How... Uh, how 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 it happened let me just say you just don't think just don't, just accept just accept it just accept it please okay we, we, un, unless you like this and th then you can uh, then you can have those fantasies okay um <clears throat> i say only the hole is good it seems don't don't think further about this. Also, brain, stop. What are you thinking right now, though? You even gave me my first time. I'm happy. <coughs> I'm happy to be your first, and I'm happy that you were my first too. I'm so happy, Roman. This is almost like a dream. We lay there in peaceful silence together. I was completely crazy about her. We got lost in each other's eyes. Her eyes were filled with love and happiness. 
She smiled at me. We ended up making love one more time, then sometime later. We took a shower, left the hotel, and took the adjoining home. I walked around. See you at school, honey. See you tomorrow, love. She waved goodbye and entered her house. So much happened this weekend. Oh boy! <laughs> your, your stick is, is crazy! Sakura told me that she was a boy. And we kissed and went on a date. Then we did it. No, you know, a stick and hole. Oh, my brain is, is having not the fault. Was it also the other way around? Uh, pro probably not. I mean, unless. Huh? Huh? I mean, it could. It could be. It could have been happening. I'm so tired. So many things to wrap my head around. I mean, then, okay, then it's there also the question who's top and who's bottom? I'm out of here! I'd like to take the day off tomorrow, but I get to see Sakura tomorrow too. What? You're lovers? Well, uh, yeah. Seriously, guys? I'm so happy for you both of you. No, wait, I'm not. Not at all. Roman is a damn poet. He will. Hey. Seriously, guys? So girl looked at me and smiled brightly as she's turned red. Not a means probably like you like this one time <laughs> when Yuri brought a wine bottle to the club. Like literally just I mean it's just uh, just uh, anybody want some wine. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Yuri pulls out the bottle of wine out of her bag and slams it onto one of the desks. What? What? Ah! What a turn of events. Yes! Awesome! I didn't know you were such a rebel, Yuri. What? What the hell, Yuri? No! We're at school, not to mention you're too young to rebel. Wait! One thing I find, fu find somehow funny. They're 18, so in my country that means they're legally allowed to drink. You can drink in the age of 16, so yes. Also, Monica mumbles to herself. We don't have a bottle of no wine glasses. What did you say? Nothing, nothing. Ah! <laughs> oh, Sayori. I looked right back at her and I smirked. She starts to start to laugh a little. Because he's this exchange and starts to stutter. To stutter. To stutter. The guy changed some of my, my, my pronunciation to German food cookie. Why, why is this happening to me? No, 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 no. Don't, don't tell me you. Don't tell me you already. Mm, all right. We won't tell you then. <laughs> Seriously, guys? We can none of me were absolutely shocked. Even after a few days passed, Rika still wasn't over it. I mean, she can't... I mean, none of me just doesn't know. Probably can... Maybe she thinks that she did... Well, they did it. Rika just already... They did it? And... Um, again, Rika is... Is... is was one of the... Oh, no. Sakura. That was, Sakura was a boy. And now we enter me shot at CFC guys and does for the same amount of time. <laughs> I can imagine just just Sakura and Roman just going down the hall and then none of me just just go seriously guys and Roman just looks at them and then just eh. it was kind of fun to watch. Okay, okay. Ah, chapter five. The festival. <laughs>